All right, so we're gonna make something like the old Mega Man. Like, um, you can shoot this way and that way, you know. It's very simple. I've been watching some tutorials, uh, how people are doing this, and they're making me mad. Uh, if you stick around, I'll show you how I, I do this stuff. Uh, super simple. All right, so let me just get rid of these um, mobile controllers. You can add them later if you want to. It's entirely up to you. This is the old platformer example for um, GDevelop. Um, you know, pretty simple. So let me add some sort of tomato here. Uh, add a new object. Make exploit. Uh, let's make that a uh, I don't know 16 by 16 or something. Hit the refresh button, and I'm just gonna make a tomato or something. There's my tomato. Tomatoes generally are red. There's our tomato there. We could even rename it tomato, just if you want to. Okay, tomato, tomato, who knows what's the real word. All right. You don't even need to drag that into the screen, but I'm going to do it just because we can. Now, if you went to the events here, uh, I'm just going to add a new event below that event. And you can have something simple, like, I don't know, like, like if you press a key, for example, say you press C on the keyboard. Now you would think there would be like a um, shoot object button, and there's not. Actually, nothing that, that exists in um, GDevelop. I don't know why it should be part of the engine, but it's not. So actually, if you went like fire an object or something, it's not there. Actually, you get fire base instead, which is not what we want. So instead, you have to sort of add the behavior uh, I believe it's a plugin or something I'm not sure we're gonna find fire fire bullet okay so add this I believe there are some parameters already uh, added to this and for some reason we have to also add it to our character fire bullets Okay, did we add it? I don't know if we added it or not. Let's see, the one added twice. There we go. So that's does that. So I'm gonna go back to the event, and so if you press C, you want to um, fire an object. Fire bullet uh, towards an angle, like um, is that an angle there? Uh, mechanic. Yeah, towards an angle, okay. So we're gonna select our object and the um initial position of the bullet will be the X position is going to be um position is going to be the X position of the player. Okay, and the angle uh oh wait, we gotta select the um the Y position as well, so just copy that and change it for Y. Now the bullet object is going to be our tomato. Select the tomato, and uh, now the angle. If you're confused with the angle thing, all you have to do is look up this um, thingy there. Math is fun. Okay, so we got zero there, and we got 180. Uh, 180 on top and 270 on the, the bottom so that's all we need to know so zero for now so that's gonna be shoot right so press the C button <laughs> why is it not working <laughs> okay oh yeah we missed a couple of things there so the angle zero and the speed, okay, speed is gonna be 100. Try this again. All right, it's, uh, okay, something's going on there. See what's happening. 
I think this has to be uh, uppercase. Maybe that's why. Try this again. And that's what it was. Now the bullets are kind of slow. So let's try 300 for the speed. 300. Three works good, so we just need to adjust the position there. Now to adjust the position is kind of simple. Uh, to towards the middle, I guess plus uh, like twenty, and plus I don't know like forty for the uh, Y coordinate. Feel how that works. Ah, that works not too bad. Now we have the problem that he only shoots to the um, to the right. And we want to be able to shoot to the uh, left as well. To do that, uh, it's kind of simple. If you notice here, we have um, uh, flipped horizontally, you know. So we could use that. If the object, if the object flipped, okay. What is flip? So if it's not flipped, we could shoot towards to the right okay actually I think it's backwards so basically if it's flipped try this again that works fine there so I mean uh, you could place the um I mean, you could place you could place that by his hands or something, but you know, this is just a simple example. We're not gonna bother with details right now, so we're gonna do this uh, flipped, inverted condition, and see what happens now. All right, so that's right. Oh, <laughs> we have to change the angle of the bullets. All right. Now we'll click on this. Uh, so the angle, the new angle is, I think it's 180. Okay, so 180. 180. I'm just going to put this graphic back again so you can see what's happening. This is 180, 0, uh, and this 90. Okay. Try this again. Jump. That's our right. And that's our left. Just like that. Now you could limit the amount of bullets depending on how many you want. That's really up to yourself. Uh, one way you could do it is with a counter. You know, when you shoot, you can probably change the animation or something. Um, for now, this sort of works. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye now.